Hi, welcome to Health Talk with Dr. Akram. I am Akram. This special YouTube edition will be talking about pap smear. A pap smear is called a pap test. It's a procedure to test for cervical cancer in women. Pap smear involves collecting cells from your cervix, the lower narrower end of your uterus that's at the top of your vagina. Detecting cervical cancer early with pap smear gives you a greater chance at a cure. Cervical cancer is a cancer arising from the cervix. It is due to the abnormal growth of cells that have the ability to invade or spread to other parts of the body. Early on, typically, no symptoms are seen. Later, symptoms may include abnormal vaginal bleeding, pelvic pain, pain during sexual intercourse. While bleeding after sex may not be serious, it may also indicate the presence of cervical cancer. Human papilloma virus causes more than 90% of the cases of cervical cancer in the world. Worldwide, cervical cancer is both the fourth most common cause of cancer and the fourth most common cause of death from cancer in women. In 2012, an estimated 528,000 cases of cervical cancer occurred with 266,000 deaths. This is about 8% of total cases and total deaths from cancer, about 70% of cervical cancers and 90% of deaths occur in developing countries. Pap smears can help detect cervical cancer and alert women early, allowing them to seek. Smear can also detect changes in your cervical cells that suggest cancer may develop in the future. Detecting these abnormal cells early with pap smear is very first step in halting the possible development of cervical cancer. The pap smear is usually done in conjunction with the pelvic exam. In women older than age 30, the pap test may be combined with a test for human papilloma virus or HPV, a common sexually transmitted infection that can cause cervical cancer. The test was invented by Greek Dr. Georgios Papalnikolou, who started his research in 1923. Aural Barbesh of Romania independently made similar discoveries in 1927 all the medical literature don't talk much about him. Aural Barbesh enrolled in 1905 at the Carol Davila University of Medicine and Pharmacy, Bucharest, Romania, graduating in 1911, just 84 years before I qualified at the same university. Anyway, who should have a pap smear? In general, doctors recommend beginning uh, pap testing at age of 21. How often should a pap smear be repeated? It is generally recommended repeating pap testing every three years for women age, ages 21 to 65. However, women age 30 and older can consider pap testing every five years if the procedure is combined with testing for HPV or human papilloma virus. If you have certain risk factors, your doctor may recommend more frequent pap smears regardless of your age. These risk factors include a diagnosis of cervical cancer or pap smear that showed precancerous cells, exposure to diethylstilbestrol DES before birth, or HIV infection or weakened immune system due to organ transplant, chemotherapy, chronic corticosteroid use, especially in asthma patients, and a history of smoking. Who can consider stopping pap smears? In certain situations, a woman and her doctor may decide to end pap testing, such as after total uh, hysterectomy after a total hysterectomy surgical removal of the uterus include the cervix as well so if your hysterectomy was performed for a non-cancerous condition such as uterine fibroids you may be able to discontinue routine pap smears but if your hysterectomy was for precancerous or cancerous condition of the cervix 
your doctor may recommend continuing routine pap testing. And older age doctors generally agree that women can consider stopping routine pap testing at age of 65 if their previous tests for cervical cancer had been negative. Did you ever want to study abroad? But don't know where to start? Then look no further because IES got you covered. With dozens of universities and courses ready for your choosing, you too can earn a world-class degree for an affordable price. In your time, indulge yourself in the rich and magnificent cultures of Bulgaria and Romania without any worries because IES will help you every step of the way from visa application to legalization of documents and more. For further information and inquiries, contact us now. International Admission Services Make your dreams come true since 2012. What are the risks? A pap smear is a safe way to screen for cervical cancer. However, a pap smear isn't a foolproof. It's possible to receive false negative results, meaning that the test indicates no abnormality even though you do have abnormal cells. A false negative result doesn't mean that a mistake was made. Factors that can cause a false negative result include an inadequate collection of sample, a small cell number of abnormal cells, or blood inflammatory cells obscuring the abnormal cells. Although it is possible for abnormal cells to go undetected, time is on your side. That's a good news. Cervical cancer takes several years to develop and if one test doesn't detect the abnormal cells, the next most probably will do. How you prepare to ensure that your pap smear is most effective? Avoid intercourse, douching or washing, um, using any vaginal medicines or spermicidal forms, creams, jellies for two days before having a pap smear as these may wash away or obscure normal cells. Try not to schedule a pap smear during your menstrual period. What you can expect? Pap smear is performed in your doctor's office and takes only a few minutes. You may be asked to undress completely or only from the waist down. You will lay down on your back on an exam table with your knees bent, your heels rest in support called stirrups, your doctor will gently insert an instrument called a speculum into your vagina. The speculum holds the walls of your vagina apart so that your doctor can easily see your cervix. Inserting the speculum may cause sensation of pressure in your pelvic area. Then your doctor will take samples of your cervical cells using a soft brush and a flat scraping device called a spatula. This usually doesn't hurt. After the pap smear, you can go about your day without any restrictions. Your sample will be sent to a laboratory for examination under a microscope to look for characteristics in the cells that indicate cancer or precancerous conditions. A normal result, if normal result if only normal cervical cells were discovered during your pap smear, you are said to have a negative result. You won't need any further treatment or testing until you are due for your next abnormal results. If abnormal or unusual cells were discovered during your pap smear, you are said to have a positive result. A positive result doesn't mean you have cervical cancer. Let's look at a few examples of uh, abnormal cells. Atypical squamous cells of under undetermined significance, we'll called ASCUS. Squamous cells are thin and flat and grow on the surface of the healthy cervix. These changes don't clearly suggest that precancerous cells are present. Doctors can reanalyze a sample to check for the presence of viruses known to promote the development of cancer, such as some type of human papillomavirus or HPV. If 
no high risk viruses are present, the abnormal cells found as a result of the test are of great concern. If worrisome viruses are present, you will need further testing. Squamous intraepithelial lesion. This term is used to indicate that the cells collected from the pap smear may be precancerous. If the changes are high grade, there is a greater chance that the lesion may develop into cancer much sooner. Additional diagnostic testing is necessary. Atypical glandular cells. Glandular cells produce mucus and grow in the opening of your cervix and within your uterus. Further testing is needed to determine the source of the abnormal cells and their significance. Squamous cell cancer or adenocarcinoma cells. These results mean the cells collected for the pap smear appear so abnormal that the pathologist is almost certain a cancer is present. Squamous cell cancer refers to cancers arising in the flat surface cells of the vagina or cervix. Adenocarcinoma refers to cancers arising in glandular cells. If such cells are found, your doctor will recommend prompt evaluation. If your pap smear is abnormal, your doctor may perform a procedure called colposcopy using a special magnifying instrument, a colposcope, to examine the tissue of the cervix, vagina and vulva. Doctor, your doctor also may take a tissue sample or biopsy, they call it, from any areas that appear abnormal. The tissue sample is then sent to a laboratory for analysis and definitive diagnosis uh, performed. So that's all about pap smear for today. And uh, let's be aware of your body and your health. We will talk about human papillomavirus or HPV in our next YouTube episode. So until then, look after yourself. See you there. Thank you.